You never realize how much playgrounds are a part of your childhood until you see kids who don't have any. Rebecca Hosier is a 14-year-old from St. Paul United Methodist Church in Chambersburg, and she has raised over $4,000 to purchase playground equipment for children in the West Bank who didn't have any before. Thank you for coming and talking with us. Thank Rebecca. you for having me. What started this idea of raising money for a playground equipment in the West Bank? Well, my mother and I went to a conference, a peace and justice conference, in March of 2010. And we ended up on a break. We went down. And just, I wanted to take pictures of the graffiti on the wall. Since it's actually free that you can just go in, it's legal to go just paint on this wall. So it's pretty cool. So I went in to take pictures. And we happened by chance that there was someone at the building. They invited us in, gave us tea, customary over there. And one of the coordinators there, um, Usama Nicola, came in and he told us about the Reconciliation Center and he ended up telling us his story. And he talked to us about how even he and his kids, as young as two and five, are affected by the war and the separation wall and everything that's going on over there. And um, after that, he went and just took us on a tour of the building and he told us that they had an empty lot that they wanted to make a playground. And later, back at the conference, I had the idea that I wanted to raise a few hundred dollars to help them out and went back home and that's just kind of how it started. Went and raised money for them. What did you do to raise money? <sighs> I talked a lot. <laughs> I went to many places and I just told the story of what was going on over there and people were touched and they helped. Um, I sold olive wood. Um, did a lot of that on Sundays after church. Um, I helped out at the community breakfast one Saturday at the church. The church definitely helped me out. They went and they rolled with it. They just gave people, gave them their hearts and really helped me out there. So it was a way really not only to raise money for the playground, but also to share the story of the people who you had met as well. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, once you had raised the money, did you buy the equipment here in America, or how did you get the playground equipment there? No, that would have been very expensive <laughs> to ship the equipment. It would have been just as much to buy it as to ship it. So we sent the money over, and they bought the equipment there. Okay, so they were able to choose what equipment that what they equipment wanted, they wanted and where and everything. So, what kinds of equipment are on the playground there? The basic playground, like slides, swings, seesaw giant spinny things that no one knows <laughs> what they're called but all the kids love them. Mm -hmm. Just the regular playground stuff. Were they surprised by the money that they had received for the playground equipment? I think we were all surprised because I went into this for a few hundred dollars to buy a swing set or a slide ended up coming out with thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. I think we were all surprised by the number. And you were able to return and actually see the fruits of your labor then as well, correct? Yes, we returned in October later that year. Um, just for a mission trip, we ended up working at the Bible College, which is down the street from the WM. And we passed and saw all the kids playing on the playground. Oh, it so must be a wonderful feeling to be able to was. see it actually in use. It was. Yeah. Um, do you think that this has started a spark in you for um, continuing with Global Ministries? Oh, uh, yes, it def definitely has. My whole family has felt this spark. We want to go over, volunteer, help out with the people over there. It really touched us. All right, well, I thank you for sharing your story and for sharing your story with so many other people and for just following that nudge and um, just raising money so that those people could have their request fulfilled because you followed that God's thank will you. in your life.